Chainsaw Man Chapter 121, Theory of Happiness. So with this one, it was pretty interesting. Um, I like how uh, so Yoshida invites Asa to his place and the entire time they're having a conversation, like Yoshida, his intentions are completely different than Asa's. And I love how Asa is having like so much inner dialogue um kind of talking to herself of like oh does Yoshida like me does he dislike me uh did he not really care for me but then started to get an interest in me once I at once I asked him out and he turned me down like what is and she's like super confused which I thought is like really really cool like what I like about like ever since we started like part two of Chainsaw Man is that I really like how like we're really getting a lot of inner monologue from Asa. Like that is something that this arc has definitely given us. And honestly, like I don't want to say, but maybe I are we getting more monologue than Denji had in part one? I could be off on that. I don't think so, but like I kind of think so. Like. I mean, as far as, like, the amount of chapters, because I feel like with Denji, like, his character, he's very, like, one-track minded, whereas Asa is somebody who, like, overthinks things, and we, we definitely see it in this chapter, like, she overthinks, like, the entire conversation, which is hilarious, and then all, <laughs> all Yoshida wanted to do was say, hey, do you, like, not hang out with Denji anymore, and then she's like, wait wait that's why that this whole thing was because you don't want me hanging out with Denji which I thought was great because um <clears throat> because now she's not gonna want to be around Denji and of course with Denji and his situation you know he, he can't be around Asa which going to Denji's situation he's laying on the floor with uh Nayuta and Nayuta um tells him that a life without a girlfriend is even better because now you can focus on being chainsaw man which everybody loves chainsaw man so why don't you just focus on being chainsaw man and being loved that way rather than being loved by your girlfriend and at first like <clears throat> sorry um but at first like denji is not really into that right like he's sitting there like dude i don't like i don't want that though like to me it's just not as fun like i actually want like a partner but after their whole conversation now yuta ends up um pretty much uh persuading him uh to to think that way because at the end uh denji's like hell yeah like you're right you know and i think this is interesting and i think that i said this in my last review but i think it's really interesting how like even though makima's not there she's still controlling denji's life think about it because nayuta now that nayuta is the control devil she's controlling denji's life right now which is like crazy and, <clears throat> and that was something that like makima couldn't do because makima can only control people uh to people who like she thinks she's better than right she never thought that she was better than denji or at least chainsaw man so she had to do other things to break him down mentally to where he could or she could uh control him whereas nayuta nayuta pretty much wears the pants in this family you know what i mean like when it comes to this household she owns it so she does see herself as above uh denji which i think is super interesting but we get nayuta you know she's walking home and she's overthinking things and yeah like I, I just really like this it's a very realistic take on basically having your heart broken you know being rejected by somebody feeling like you know you really like this person but they don't like you back or maybe they do but something is getting in between you two and it's just not gonna work out and that is exactly what Asa is going through which is something that like a lot of series like don't do like especially even though you know chainsaw man is technically a shonen um when you put it next to like other shonen like a lot of shonen use this moment these type of moments to add like comedy and like stuff like that in it 
but like Fujimoto's approach to this situation is not that at all like he's actually approaching it from a very realistic standpoint and you have this whole monologue of her talking to herself and, and saying that you know like um you know like this uh just I don't know just being really down on herself you know and just like getting to the point where like she don't even want to be alive anymore because she's just like like there's so much you know and it's just like you just go through and you read the dialogue and I just feel like it's something that's so relatable something that so many people have like actually dealt with in their own lives and for Fujimoto to convey it like through this um character and what I love is I love how like the war devil acts like a second personality right um to where she can actually not only have a monologue in her own head about herself but she also has somebody to bounce these ideas off to um which is kind of interesting because like this is only the war devil that can do this now technically we did see denji talk to pochita before but he does de he definitely does not have a relationship with pochita like they do you know what i mean i'm not saying his relationship isn't close enough obviously we know that pochita is like the closest thing to denji but the dynamic of their relationship like how it's done is very different than um from asa and the war devils so i just thought that was super interesting and then out of nowhere um some dude just like falls off of the balcony of like a, an apartment complex it looks like and then asa looks up or technically the war devil looks up and there's a group of people standing up on the balconies um, just kind of looking down at the war devil. Now, I don't know what to say about that. Um, it's just one of those, um, you know, WTF moments of like, like what just happened? Like what is, I don't know. There's nothing to go off of. Um, I can't really speculate. I don't know if these people threw him off or if he was drunk and fell off or a devil is involved. I don't know um and honestly like I've read this chapter or the ending part twice now um three times now that I'm looking at it and I don't, I don't know I mean there's nothing I can make of it so we'll just have to uh see until the next chapter.